Hi guys, another citizen here and today we're gonna be covering the most important topic, at least for me. It's money. Yes, the only money guide you're gonna ever need. The 3.9 is out and new opportunities just flourishing around. So if you are new in a star citizen, you're definitely gonna appreciate it. Or if you wanna start in a star citizen, just take advantage of that link down below and get extra 5,000 UEC. So now for this guide, we're going to be starting in a a planet called Arc Corp and specifically in Area 18, which is one of the ma major landing zones. Um, there are other major landing zones such as Lorville or New Babbage, and you can probably do the same thing in there, but I've tested it for three times here in Area 18 and works all the time and every single time for me. So if you're going to be following this guide, just get your character ready and I will see you in a spaceport. All right, I'm glad you're still watching. So we're gonna open our mobile glass by pressing F1, navigate to the contract manager, to the top personal, and we're gonna be looking for delivery missions, specifically the ones who pay 15,000 UEC, and you heard me. CIG in a 3.9 increased the payment of illegal missions by 50%. So that's why we're gonna be doing these. Usually gonna get around two, you might get even four, my friend get four, uh, but two is still enough, you're gonna get 30K out of it, which is pretty cool. So uh, you're going to grab these and the pickup location is usually around your home planet. In our case, it's Area 18, so Arc Corp. Then uh, both of these missions usually deliver to the similar place as well. There is a chance that not, but in most of the times it's always delivered to the same place. So it can be Crusader, it can be around Hurston. Our case, Crusader. Now pick up your ship and in my case it is Avenger Titan. Um, in your case, it can be Aurora or any other starter ship you want to fly. It's really up to you and we're going to make our way to the hangar. Now, pro tip number one. Did you know that you can open your hangar while you are in an elevator by just going to your mobile glass, calling friends and your best friend Area 18, landing services will open the hangar for you. And that's long before you will even board your ship and set everything up, so then you will save your precious time and just take off. But there is one even more important and even more time saving tip I'm going to give you right now. And because 3.9 is full of bugs, it can be 30 Ks such as the server crashes or static trains or everything what can make your day really painful <laughs> and time consuming. We can actually avoid by literally just landing and taking off from the nearest space station. And yes, every single landing zone, the major ones have their own space station. In our case, Area 18 or our corp have a Bajini point. So I will see you on a Bajini point in a second. Aegis combat assist activated. Systems green. Please proceed to assigned landing bay. Attention, I have been authorized to scan your vehicle for contraband. Please halt and stand by. All right, everything checks out. You're free to go. All right, so we just got scanned and that's can be a big problem, especially during the mission we're doing right now. Why is that? That's because we're gonna be carrying illegal cargo. And if you're gonna get scanned while this cargo is on board of your ship, you might be in a trouble. You might get anything from fine all the way to the crime stuff. I honestly haven't been scanned ever and i've done it for quite a couple of times while i had this cargo on board so i really can't confirm if that's what's happened but let's say that if you're gonna get a crime start and then if you're gonna get shot by any authority or a bounty hunter and you will die in that encounter you will wake up in a prison and then you have to wait for the sentence which can be i don't think you're gonna get that much crime start for that but i get for three bars about two hours in a prison sentence and you might lose that two hours which you can't get and make any money so that's just gonna all add up at the end 
of your kind of working day. So it doesn't have to end up as profitable as it should be. But I'm going to be making another video about that, how to actually, what to do if you do have a crime start and how to kind of deal with that. But about it later. Now we are good to go and we flying for our first pickup. And that can take a lot of time as with illegal missions, you're going to be flying all the way to the outpost as there is no quantum beacon. So technically that little marker, uh, which you can select on your star map and literally just spool into. So that doesn't work quite well for the, let's say, illegal kind of underground places, such as the place where we're going right now, which is the Samson and Sons. And um, so for that reason, there is still one way uh, how you can kind of show the distance. So you're going to save some time instead of flying these 328 or 320 kilometers. Um, so you're always going to be trying to find out some close marker. Let's say that there will be orbital marker or it can be the outpost, which can be, I don't know, closer than you are right now. And uh, there's also one more thing you can try, which means um, you can cut the quantum in the middle of the jump. And that's can dramatically decrease the time between uh, you just jumping to the moon and you flying to the outpost. So at this point, we are flying all the way to the orbital marker, but uh, later in the video, I'm going to be covering the other part as well. Now, uh, I will just skip all the way to the outpost, so I will see you in there when we're going to be picking up our first box. This time I was really lucky and I get to get both boxes in the same location. But that's not happening all the time, so don't get me wrong if that's happened to you. 
good luck if that doesn't happen to you don't blame me okay it's just rng uh, now the reason why i actually um, pause the music at the moment is i wanted to talk about a bug you've probably noticed uh in before and that's when you're trying to plot the route and it just doesn't work so yeah as you can see right now i'm already flying and the route is set all the way to the daima so everything works but um as you saw earlier i just tried to set it up a couple of times it just didn't work yeah that's happened it's very inconsistent but that's just happened time after time and there is a workaround to that that's just to fly to another location as you saw me doing it and uh, you can kill that quantum in the middle of the jump and just you know while you're already flying or just in a cooldown you can try to select the original location one more time and that should work it usually works for me all right uh, now, because I already reset my character again, so I didn't actually <laughs> ended up with my upgraded quantum drive, so I still have that, that um, stock one. It's not bad, but it's a little bit slow. Uh, so for the sake of the video, I'm just gonna cut it again and I will see you in our destination.
Okay guys, so if you've done everything I've did until this point, you should be probably ending up with extra 31,000 UEC, which is awesome for about 30 minutes of work and was not even that hard. Yes, there was a little bit of risk involved, but as you saw, there was nothing serious for us at this point. I'm gonna be covering all these possible scenarios also in a future videos. However, right now, if you also created your character using code I've uh, talked about before at the beginning of the video, uh, you might have right now roughly around 40-ish thousand UEC which is pretty good. This is the basic you really need. And now uh, you can do pretty much everything you, you want in a Star Citizen. You accept, of course, you can't buy yourself a ship. That, that would be ridiculous for 40,000, but you can definitely rent one. You can rent yourself Prospector if you wanna go mining, or maybe you are hungry for some action. So grab your friends, get yourself a Cutlass. Wow, bunker missions. But if you are still hungry and wanna definitely increase that capital and maybe buy yourself a ship at the end of the day, uh, I've done a couple of videos uh, about trading, and so you might take a look at those as well. I understand these videos are from older versions of the Star Citizen, but I'm definitely gonna be keeping these as actual as possible, and so I'm gonna be actually coming up with new ones very soon. Now, for that bunker missions or that action I mentioned before, uh, I also gonna be coming up with a video talking more about how to stock yourself up with a lot of weapons for almost free. Now, if I forgot something, please let me know down in the comments below. Uh, or if you really didn't like the video and you think I suck, just let me know. So at least there is something I can improve upon. If you did like the video, just give it a like or maybe even consider subscribing. There is that beautiful ring bell over there next to it. So you're always going to get notified whenever I'm going to upload a new video online. Uh, guys, also, if you want to catch up with me when I'm live or online, I'm streaming every Friday and Saturday. The links are on the side of the screen right now or down below. It was amazing to making this video for you and I can't wait when I will see you next time.